this is a, a crazy video. It also shows how, again, how insane our mainstream media is, uh, how much it is misleading you uh, about the world. And it's referencing how we hear so much. We hear so much about homelessness in San Francisco, homelessness in Los Angeles, but also homelessness around the world and in, in various areas of the world. And yet there are large swaths of America where you don't hear about the poverty, the homelessness. There's basically no coverage of it, very little discussion of it at all. And this video is, is just, I mean, it's heartbreaking, but it's, it's incredible. Uh, this, is, this is footage from a town in West Virginia. Hold on. Um, I don't want to use the song in case it's like copyrighted or something, but this is just a completely bombed out area of West Virginia. There are parts of West Virginia, West Virginia that are desperately, desperately poor. They've also been heavily polluted. This is an area. And again, this is something you will not get from your mainstream media. Even if they talk about West Virginia po poverty, this is a state, a lot of the state that has just been gutted by industrial action, industrial behavior, corporate behavior in America. This is an area of the world, of the nation, where companies have gone, they've extracted both the resources in terms of the coal in the area, the fracking, but they have also extracted the, the life force out of so many people. So many of those miners died at 40, 45 from black lung, um, I knew one who died in, in early to mid forties from black lung, but he died in the late eighties, early nineties. Um, but it's just utter destruction in some of these places. Yet we don't talk about this. This is what a lot of America looks like. And yet it's not really discussed. It's not covered by your mainstream media. These are just wholly bombed out areas of the United States. I mean, this looks like a bomb hit it. This is, this is the bomb of capitalism that landed in this town in West Virginia. And again, this is not just West Virginia. It's not just that town. Uh, there are other areas of the country that look and feel like this. This is the bomb of capitalism that just extracts everything it can and then gets the fuck out. The industry leaves it ships the jobs overseas. There's no loyalty to the people, to the lives that have that have committed themselves throughout decades to these corporations to enrich a tiny number of 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 just full on uh, cocksuckers. And if you don't like that term, then I can also say twat lickers. Uh, whatever term you need to insert there that would be bleeped on television. That is what you need to, to, to insert right there. The, it, in, it just enriches a tiny, tiny number of people, and then they leave town. And we see it happen again and again with so much of America. And sure, some places uh, on, on America, some places in America uh, are able to find new ways to, uh, to have people be able to live there. You know, Pittsburgh is one that's doing relatively okay, despite the fact that the industries that built up Pittsburgh have now fled. Uh, but, you know, they generally have to do that by inventing new uh, consumerist jobs like uh, dog grooming or, uh, you know, uh, how to I sell wine openers that have uh, kitten faces on them. It, basically, that's... <laughs> People are getting by. You got to invent some new job or product or something to even survive these days, or uh, you know, some some ridiculous job that shouldn't even exist in our world. Like I don't know, YouTube personality. That should not be a job. We should, it, it, but. So there are some areas that have found a way to get by, but that doesn't that doesn't justify the system. That's 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 a survival mechanism. It's a band aid. And once all of the wine openers with the cat faces on them have been sold, once we've mined all of the wine openers with the cat faces and you know dog faces, and you're gonna have a little 
a little uh, cat versus dog people battle to see who's going to get the most or best wine openers. Once we've extracted all of that, then we got to move on to the next thing. And, and, and that, that again is how, how the gravity of capitalism works. You extract everything, the rich, the ruling elite in this ongoing class war, basically in this class war, they bombed that city in West Virginia. And yet they get to call it legal, right? They get to call it uh, uh, good and, and positive for the community, right? Those corporations built up the community. They did this wonderful thing. So we get to call it all of those great things. And in fact, it is just extraction and enriching of a tiny, tiny number of people. And like I said, most of this is never covered on your mainstream media, even when they cover poverty. And uh, something the actually, I'm going to show it on this episode. Uh, the the last the 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 episode of Most Censored News, I uh, cover the largest landlords in the country, uh, including Blackstone, and and what they're doing to the nation, how they've how they're destroying lives. But in that episode, I mentioned that we have this, we have, you know, hundreds of thousands of homeless people, but they even more than that are facing homelessness or near homeless. And yet we have millions upon millions of houses that sit empty across the country because the truth is those are now collector's items for incredibly wealthy people. They just buy up 10, 12, see how the price goes. You know, maybe they'll sell them off. Maybe they'll hang on to them empty for a while. It's a collector's item for the egregiously rich in this country. And so that's another form of bombing an area. When you've got a, a whole city and it's all bought out by investors who aren't even using the housing units, then you end up with what? A largely empty city or one third empty town. And that, that's how is that different than bombing it? How is that different than burning down those houses? Oh, so you bought it as an investor. It sits empty. No one can use it and no one can afford to live there. How For the people that used to live there, how is that different than bombing it? They don't have houses. They can't be there. They, the ones that are there have lost their community. So how is that different than a bomb? It's the bomb of capitalism. 